<laughs> Hello. Is it, is it going? <laughs> it's going and we're going. Let's do a warm up. One, <laughs> two, tip, three, zap, four. Zap. Everybody's hey, <laughs> welcome to the podcast. Everybody, My name is Zach. Hey, welcome to the podcast. That's Zach. This and is I'm Gabby, Gabby Bryan. What's up? And How you feeling tonight? I get into the mix because we're here with our sis. Uh, um, I'm guys. I'm, guys. We're so fucked up. I can't believe in our state, Zach just thought to start with a rap. I can't believe I started with a rap. I don't we, think we've I've ever been st- speaking. <laughs> We've barely been <laughs> speaking, and you just you just asked me in earnest to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> that I, was like honestly fucked up. That was you. crazy that that came out. That came out. I haven't said that. That was really the first thing I've said today. I would say is that rap. Is that, that attempt is that at a rap? Rap. <laughs> is that rap? Um, guys. So in true the podcast fashion. Yeah. I'm Zach Sindor. Uh, and, and I'm Gabby Ryan. In true La Podcast Less fashion, fashion, we're who we've always been. We, we, okay. we, ow. That's actually <laughs> beautiful. I really, I was listening to our episodes because I'm obsessed with us. And I listen to our podcast <laughs> so much. I love listening to it. When I, I miss it. you, I just watch our clips. I know. And so I have a lot of people, they're like, I love your, I love your podcast. I have, a, <laughs> I have a lot of people who are like, I love your podcast. <laughs> because it's fun. So guys, you are in the right place. If you <laughs> If Guys, you welcome. You're in the right place. You're in the right place. Take a seat. Get comfy. We're getting in the, into the mix. Now. Get comfy and get ready to fucking dish your shit because it's going down. We're so hungover. We are both individually and together so hungover. It's uh, oh, back in the day. If you were an unabashed fan, hi. For so, so that's long. like yeah, that's, that's sort of our the old prequel. podcast, that the is, prequel story. <laughs> that's that, our OG origin both story. Both coming out in theaters. Yeah. Um, in unabashed, we used to have this monthly episode called the Hangover episode. The Hangover episode every two, we tried to do that, and then we were like, we'll do monthly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we would get obliterated, drunk, and then do the podcast the next morning in a <laughs> a pure state of id. And yeah. we haven't done that in a while. We bear honestly. Honestly, we haven't been drinking until the the sunshine came out this year. I've been drinking, but I, I, I have been, too. Yeah, I've been straight up drinking. <laughs> I, I have no. all year. Hold on, let's be clear. I've been drinking. I just think that the hangover episodes were ambitious. I think they were awesome. They were fun. We were twenty three, I think. We yeah. were so young, and now we're actually nearing thirty. On the precipice of beginning to think about the process of, of turning being 30. thirty, and drinking booze hurts, and we're both hungover, and we've just been like moaning at each other for mm. this whole pre-production process this whole pre-production i'm like a sim on idle mode like you know what i mean like i'm just i'm screaming at the gods like I get my God. I so. so. um, so. guys this is the podcast yeah and um yeah this episode's gonna be crazy a lot happened oh my god oh my god so wait should- actually oh my there's god. actually a lot this is this is such a poor a poor podcast to tell you the breadth of how much we've done. <laughs> the, the honest levity of what we <laughs> we've gone through is insane. I have seventeen drinks surrounding me like a <laughs> Satan circle, like a pentagram. All my drinks. Wait, I need to turn my headphones up. I know. you need them up. I need them up a touch. Wait, I, why don't you just know how to do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you're asking me that today. Oh, <laughs> like, I'm, so I'm so. Okay, so can I? May I? May we should get we. Have have to warm up okay you're right we, we should do what, are you, so what, are, we what do? are you serving what are we serving <laughs> we have to warm up so what do we do <laughs> <laughs> gabby i want to know you first off hi hey. let's look at each other okay okay <laughs> you viewers at home have no idea that the the vibe between us is electric <laughs> <laughs> non-stop like <laughs> i brought you a gift today i am so grateful that you brought me gabby i one off said gabby i kind of want this thing and then i said get it for me at your job (laughs) to be clear he said steal it for me from your job and i picked out the gayest one and i love you i love you it's one of those planters um tm it's not a planter. It's, <laughs> no, <laughs> let's untrademark that um, because it, that's not what it is. It's like a little. Sp- it looks like an old perfume bottle, and you spritz you spritz your plants with it. Because I'm trying to become a plant boy, guys. If you live in an apartment, BOI. get it, get into the boi, <laughs> <laughs> the boy lifestyle, the boy lifestyle. <laughs> I want to know uh, what you're serving. We are pure boi today. This there is no wh- where, when, and why about today. We are two boys <laughs> today. Boi energy. Um, B- 
B O I. Sometimes we're coming in with girly energy. Sometimes we're coming in with big boob energy. Yes. Sometimes we're coming in with B O I energy. And yeah. I would describe today as B O I energy. We are mucky little boys today. I'll tell you what. Exactly. We're rolling exactly. in the dirt. <laughs> exactly. We're rolling in the dirt. We're playing with snakes in the backyard. Yeah. Squishing we're not... slugs and then being like, "Am I a sociopath?" Yeah. But it doesn't count unless it's a, a mammal. I found. Um, sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Um, you can kill like any bug, I think, and it's not fucked up. I'll kill a guy. I'll kill literally <laughs> like, a guy. Listen, I'll kill a guy. You don't have to defend yourself. I'd kill I'd a guy. I'd kill a guy. Um, okay, so hi. What? I'm Gabby. I was drinking champagne last night like the world was ending. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the bourgeois being like, well, c'est la vie. C'est la vie. They're, they're storming the castle. <laughs> so th- there's not much time left. I finish was, the Don Perrier. Finish uh-huh. it. We don't want the peasants to get it. I was giving Marie Antoinette at the end of her, w- about her to have her head cut off and ha- and let them eat cake last night. Oh my God. If you were Marie Antoinette, I bet you wouldn't realize that like there was an uprising to like like right before literally till they walked in the door and i'm like who are you you're like hello, hello welcome. welcome to the party <laughs> <Do you> wanna, <laughs> it's like peasants <laughs> you're like tea and everything and they're like no and you're like wait you guys you don't, don't like, like me, me. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you like me i'm the pri- <laughs> i'm like the whole princess or th- whatever um yeah that bitch had it coming marie antoinette is so me <laughs> Big time. Uh, it's big time me. And I'm, her, I'm her secret gay king husband who just like goes off with the squire boys. He's always off with the squire <laughs> boys. <laughs> listen, listen, you know that vibe when you're always off with, with the, the squire, squire boys? <laughs> Bellas. <laughs> That's so funny. That that like um story of like m- mom with the pool boy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, dad with the nanny. Mm. We love to forget about king with the squire boy. Quick. Queen with the squire <laughs> boy. <laughs> King with the squire boy is such a huge thing. It's such a huge thing. You actually just brought up a huge point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that you brought it up. You brought up. Uh, you inspired me. Oh. <laughs> um, you inspired me. To be amused. <laughs> the weight on my shoulders. A nanny. A dad and a nanny. Like, that's kind of a thing in culture. The au pair. Yeah. You might say, I... No one really... No one says that. No anymore. one says that really. I'm gonna when I'm an adult man. <laughs> I'm thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty nine. I'm gonna have a husband, mm-hmm. and we're gonna have children. But if we have a nanny, it cannot be a girl. Why? I don't know. There's just something about it. Like I don't want. Just he. Ha- she has to be ugly. She has to be like a like a really ugly girl. Yeah, but it's like you're gay. So I wh- know, but it's the, it's just like I just I don't want to see some pretty young thing. Trampsing around my house. I'm trampsing around my house. My house with my kids like a whore. Like a whore eating food in my fridge. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm like, I'm feeling so the opposite that for you and your story book ending. Sorry, book ending fairy tale even. Is that you would, I would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally unprompted um, just dropped the mic. <laughs> I'm sorry about today. I have no, my motor skills aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't picture you with an ugly nanny. I couldn't even imagine that. I think you would hire the hottest one no matter how unqualified she would be. So what you're saying actually so does not track with your personality. Well, then I have to marry a guy who's as gay as me, and that's a tall order because I'm the gayest guy in America. You're not the gayest guy in America. I think I am, and I think I'm going <laughs> to challenge you there. <laughs> you're not. You don't even wear a skirt ever. I'm going to make a stand and say <laughs> that. I'm the gayest guy. I think it's take a stand, not make a stand. It's unless you're ma- some sort of carpenter. Or like so- a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a stand, a lemonade stand, I and tell you, hi, I'm the gayest guy <laughs> in America. Would you like a glass of lemonade? Clearly, you have a lemonade stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly. No straight guy is selling lemonade out of a lemonade stand. I want to know what you're goddamn surfing right now. <laughs> <laughs> And I will not leave. I'm serving you long, long nails, like super, super long. And then at the end of each nail, is there's a little hole punch and there's chandelier earrings hanging off of every single nail. Oh, those are atrocious when you see those. <laughs> no, yeah. Literally horrific. But in this world, I have them. And you know why I have them? Because I'm so rich, I don't even need to pick anything up. You don't even pick anything up. Your ass is bedayed to hell. My ass is bedayed. I literally don't have to lift a single item I, someone follows me around and reads me my text messages it's like it's like a live talk to 
text. I'm just talking to them yep. and they text it. You know, back in the day, I hate to bring it back in the day again, <laughs> <laughs> but when they would have just kind of like a, a scribe and they'd be like, they'd be like, Petra, write a note to the king of, of Send- Newark yeah. <laughs> and, and saying, dear sir, at midnight o'clock, I will come to you a ho- rearing gifts like that. Mm-hmm. That's me. But it's me with an assistant telling them to text you, what's up, you whore? The, I just like this. What fan- did you get into yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> this fantasy is crazy because I'm imagining you allowing some like mousy 22-year-old intern to do something for you. You'd I be like, know. give it to me. Give, give it, to, it me. to me. Give it to me. Oh, you spelled everything wrong. They're like, it's actually right. I'm like, well, I spell things wrong. So if you're gonna, if that's going to pass as me, you're going to have to use the wrong there. You're going to have to make a few mistakes because everyone can see right through this. First off, you're staying a long time after after your shift. (laughs) Okay, we're going into overtime suddenly, and I don't pay extra for overtime. Can you use the guest bathroom? Petra? (laughs) Her name's Petra. Um, I'd love an assistant named Petra. I would love an assistant. I don't know what they would do, but they would just be my friend. Like Someone recently was like, why don't you just get an assistant? I was like, I I work at a garden center. (laughs) Like... (laughs) Why do I? Why would I well, have like an a, assistant? Maybe like a social media intern. Yeah, but at a certain point, I'm my social media intern because <laughs> yeah. I don't got that money to be paying an assistant to what tweet for me. To hey Petra, tweet tweet that I have a UTI and it's awkward. Well, in my mind, I feel like uh, an assistant is just like there to be like you have a dentist appointment. I scheduled a dentist appointment. And I have an assistant. It's so Google you have, Calendar. You have meeting with friends this afternoon. You're darling, getting drinks. You ha- darling, you have you have drinks with Zach this afternoon at five. You have drinks. Do you want me to push your meeting, your your noon meeting? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yes, girl. I'm always pushing meetings. Oh, top us with Raphael and Silvio. <laughs> I have <laughs> I have to be there on time. I have. Thank you so much, thank Francesca. you, Petra. <laughs> Darling, you're get getting fitted by a bunch of other servants like <laughs> yeah. into a insane I'm dress <laughs> literally pulled into a corset like <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your thank uh, you for your work Petra <laughs> thank you for your work Petra Ooh, uh, drinks with Silvio and Raphael. Uh, Raphael tonight I'll give them a piece of my mind uh, so I'm serving you giving a piece of my, my mind, mind. Yeah. I'm serving you <laughs> I just re- <laughs> <laughs> remembered something that happened last night that I forgot about so just I, we have crazy we stories have crazy for this stories. episode, so I'm I'm gonna try to get through this. Yeah. Um, I'm serving you a um, lamp that looks like a gorgeous woman, Ooh. but the instead of a head, it's a lampshade. That's so it's always like oh hot girl oh it's a lamp oh it's a lamp. <laughs> Uh, it's tricking straight guys left and right. Oh my god, like hot girl, because they go body first. Yeah, of oh, it's a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Oh damn. <laughs> oh, it's a lamp. <laughs> it's like panning from the feed. <laughs> Oh, it's a lamp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Never mind, guys. It's a lamp. Someone yeah. write that down. Petra, write that down Petra. to disgust in therapy. <laughs> oh my god, it's a lamp. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's a hilarious. I'm bit. serving you a a house that has every room has a different wallpaper, mm. and it's like a maximalist house. I like those. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. I obviously love those. Yeah. I like when the wallpaper is one thing and then the couch is a different pattern and the throw pillars are a different pattern and you walk in there and you go, I got a migraine so bad. I got a migraine so bad. I got a migraine so bad. And finally, I'm serving you a Southern Republican girl Hell yeah. out hunting <laughs> in like hot pink camo. You know, where it's like the camo is not like no animals are even coming there because they see this bitch. They're like, that bitch looks That's amazing. That, that bitch looks amazing. <laughs> That's how she gets them. Instead of camouflaging herself, she draws them. In. She draws in the animals with her body. That's mm. how she hunts. Oh hell yeah! That's how women hunt. Actually. I'm sorry. That's how women. That's how women. That's hunt. how women hunt. We're looking at things a little differently. Okay, we're doing a. Di- we're. We're. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the way Zach just crossed his legs was honestly a cause for alarm. Um, what are you serving? Everyone wants to know. Yeah. And I'm I am ready to say it. Okay? Tell them. Tell them. I am serving you hooking up with a guy. Yeah. Okay. Then being at a luncheon, being at like some sort of function with your friends and then peers and like acquaintances. Everyone's having cocktails and standing tables. T- fucking yeah. Cocktails and standing tables. I'm minding my own business, talking to my friends. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. some nobody bitch comes up to me and goes, 
you hooked up with my boyfriend. And I go, listen, listen, I don't even nobody know. bitch. Listen, nobody bitch. I don't even know who you are. And no one in here knows who you are. And everybody, I get like a laugh. Like, <laughs> I get, even the bartender's like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <oof. Yeah. laughs> get her. Get her ass. And then she's talking to me, but then she has like a really thick, like, like, um, kind of like a, like a really thick accent, sort of like a, sort of a, a Re- like, <laughs> really, really got the British accent. Uh, uh, one of those like you um, walked off with my boyfriend, yeah. and I'm being like, girl, I don't even know what you're saying. Girl, I can't even understand you. And also, no one here knows who, who you, you are. are. <laughs> and then she goes, "Fuck you, you slut." Um, and then she, "Fuck you, you slut." And then she slaps her boyfriend in the face. Her boyfriend's name is Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know the most gorgeous name of a Brendan. <laughs> Brendan. Brendan hangs his head in goddamn shame. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I go, not my life. Okay. Hey. Nah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just laughed so hard that I legitimately slammed <laughs> my head against the wall. We're fucked. Um, hey, not my life. Hey, not my life. And then I go back to my friends. <laughs> in my at conversation. My party, at at my, my conversation, party. And I have a great night. I have an amazing night. And oh. then I have an amazing night after that. So that's what I'm serving. <laughs> I, uh, I'm serving, you know, I'm serving you uh-huh. a, a, an herb garden. In a what? An herb garden. Oh. Herb. Herb. Time. <laughs> Rosemary. <laughs> rosemary. 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 Um, rosemary. That's a big I hate one. when a girl's named Rosemary because you know she's like, I read. And it's like, you're Easy. lying. Easy. Yeah. I also- <laughs> <laughs> Easy whore. Easy whore. <laughs> no, we, you don't. We don't care. Like, <laughs> you don't. Um, I am serving you. Yeah. 125,016 <laughs> reasons to live. Okay. Because like. <laughs> Because every day is a gift. Every day. Oh, my God. I, I thought you were going to say, <laughs> I'm serving you 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> and they're the studio. Like Honestly, rushed. that is our vibe, those Dalmatians. Have you ever thought about oh, that? Oh, that is. Oh, or, or No, I was like, we are the, the couple that's like, what are we going to do with all these dogs? <laughs> Not what no. they sounded like. They didn't sound like that. What the hell are we gonna do with all, all these, these dogs? dogs honestly 101 dalmatians the musical where's that there is one is there not is there the same people who do um lion king could do it with yeah. all those animatronics but they're all Dal- dalmatians i think that's fun <laughs> <laughs> listen i think that's fun and i'm sick of it um okay here, here we go i am serving you 125,016 reasons to live reasons to smile Guys, stop freaking yourself out. <laughs> life is life is what you make it. And Honestly, just get, it, get through your head. Get get, get <laughs> through your head. Stop. Honestly, get through the force that is your head. What I've learned this year, this crazy kooky year, is that time heals. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> time, time does heal after all. Mm. Yeah, and people say that and you're like, shut the fuck up. But it's actually randomly true. And anything can happen if you believe in yourself mm. and drink margaritas mm-hmm. with your friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That is true. You know? And guys, also this. You're freaking <laughs> about the future. <laughs> You're free. You're guilty about the past, baby. (laughs) You're freaking about the future, future. and you're guilty Guilty about about the past. past. Now that's a sticky situation. That's a sticky situation. You're in the crux, dude. Do not. Dude, you're in the crux, dude. (laughs) You're in the crux, dude. Get over yourself. Life's a breeze. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's honestly true. Get out of your own way. Get over yourself. Go outside. Look at a tree. Live a little. Live a little. (laughs) Drink water. Mm. Drink sparkling mm. water. Drink sparkling water. I am now serving you the color scion. Blue. Scion blue. That is a, that was a classic color on like old Apple computers. Online. Like an old like Macintosh. An co- yeah. Remember when it was like you couldn't pick. Okay. You know when you go to the color option for text and it's like there's the, the three wheels there's the box of crayons, which yeah, is so fun. And then there's the options that are just like the the classic 10 colors. One of them, Sion Blue. Uh, Sion 
is the gay blue. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to- totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm assuming. I would say that navy is the blonde blue. Navy? I feel like navy is the uh, navy blue. <laughs> like, yeah, but if like Sion's the gay blue. When you see like Cerulean. Oh, fuck me up. There's an episode of Gilmore Girls that they say Cerulean like literally 30 times in a half an hour episode. <laughs> and it is... Well, I don't know if they just did that as a bit to see if anyone would notice, but I noticed. Can I talk about my night last night? <laughs> we, because I like have to go. Oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know. <laughs> so, guys, me and Gabby, okay, we're doing a podcast, by the way. But we're literally doing a podcast, and it doesn't feel like it. You know what, guys? Today, Lizzie isn't here, so we're <gasps> be, we're unwatched little kids in the we basement. We never even mentioned that. Lizzie isn't here. Lizzie isn't here right now, so we feel crazy. We feel like two dogs off leash, lost in Prospect Park. Like, (laughs) (laughs) this is awesome, but where's my mom? Sniffing no matter what. Sniffing (laughs) no matter what. So, yeah, I would love to have seen her try to wrangle us in this context. I don't don't wish this on my worst enemy, (laughs) let alone Lizzie. Lizzie doesn't need to see us like this. So, we are going to film an episode tomorrow, so maybe uh, we... Listen, we don't have to get peer behind the screen. You don't need to know that. Guys, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, literally, fuck you. Stop you don't need to know our, our calendar. <laughs> you don't need to know what we do when we're not here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, I just got to tell a preface. We both had extremely sexual weeks, okay? We, we... Sure. <laughs> I did. I had a gay event... Super sexual, <laughs> super. Wait, I wanted to go first. I know, but you, I'm just you're I'm, taking that from because me. I'm not gonna explain mine because I, I I swore a vow and by that means I told a hot guy that I had a podcast. So that is the worst thing you could do. So I at least I can't. Wait, I have to wait till next episode because he's not. After listening to this, he's not. He's gonna never watch gonna it. listen again. <laughs> after hearing this episode, he will never listen again. No, no, no. So, so please. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but what was your what was your thing you were gonna say? I said that we we had sexual weeks. I went to this gay sex party, super cool, gay hunks, like a bunch of sardines covered in oil. Okay, so here's, this actually leads me directly into my sex party Please. story. Because I, I have been sitting here, complacent. <laughs> 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 I have been hearing, I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my turn, hearing Zach talk about gay sex party after gay sex party, having a lollapalooza of gay ass sex. Gay ass sex. Gay ass sex. <laughs> gay ass sex ass sex. Gay ass ass sex. Yeah, yeah. And sitting here going, one day it'll be my time to live this luxurious life of sex parties. And famously, I've mentioned before that I got invited to a elitist sex party in Manhattan, New York. So how do you get involved just for our listeners? <laughs> um, yeah, and they just reached out. And, they reached um, out to you? Yeah. Oh, uh, honestly, I was talking to the girl about it last night, and I was like, oh, yeah, did you guys reach out? And she's like, I think you applied. And I was like, oh, did I? I told a lot of people here that you reached <laughs> out to me. <laughs> like, I was, like, trying to be. I think you applied, I, Gabby. They don't, <laughs> like, do head on No, they do. Uh, the, but because I applied to a bunch at one point that Savannah sent me, and I don't remember which ones, but then I got this long email from them offering me a free membership a or free whatever. Sex, one free sex party? No, but like two a free. Two holes free? A free yeah. Two <laughs> holes free? The third you got to pay. <laughs> um, so it's That's this black you. tie Alita sex party, right? So I'm going, and I've been trying to go for six months, but it always lands on the exact day I get my period because yeah. being a woman is ass. Yeah, it's great. And not gay ass ass sex. It's just ass. Hey, hey. Yeah, girls are girls are cool to in my, in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Girls are cool in my book. <laughs> so finally, I get to go last night. And I'm like, I'm going to get my slork corked. <laughs> like, I'm literally going to cork a slork. I'm corking my I'm splork. Sl- I'm getting my splork forked. <laughs> I'm ready to get railed to death. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to die. I'm ready to die. And, and everyone knows where I'm going. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm ready to die. Uh, it's a black tie event. I didn't, know I, I didn't know the... I have your location. You have my location. A lot of people have my location. Mm. So... And listen, if, if she dies in the West Village, she dies in the <laughs> West Village. <laughs> Say la vie. Say la vie. If you're going to die anywhere, darling, it better be in the West Village. <laughs> 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 Too expensive, like, 
like in Chicago. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this sex party was like legitimately so close to the comedy clubs too and i got out of the car like oh my god oh my, oh my god, god. Oh my. so it was black tie right you explain go that, explain it. Yeah. black tie is when you dress really fancy <laughs> no, <And> everyone... no, <laughs> <explain that. laughs> all the men are in tux no, to explain that. <laughs> black tie is when you dress fancy all the men are in tux it, it, it's in a townhouse in mm. the west village all the men are in tuxes and by all the men i mean like seven guys hot 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 no. no. Old even. Ew, what kind There's of old? Like old rich. But like uh, and, But handsome? like, no, like I <laughs> I like old and was like not giving what I wanted. And there were, but there were a couple hot, like late 30, early 40s ones, like a cut, like maybe two. Yoish. So, and then there's 300 women. And, <laughs> ew, ew. and every girl is in like a little number, um, like, a, but everyone keeps their clothes on until like, 1 a.m. and it starts at 10 30 right and you go in and there's like it's in a full townhouse there was like bars on every floor there's bedrooms there's a stage on two different floors and there's like shows there was the funniest first show i saw what do you mean kind of was, show like a sex show like a sex show like the box burlesque. oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's like burlesque but like it wasn't actually as fucked up as the box except for this i heard the thing i think you should have that's recording it's fine Cool. Cool. Um, God damn it. Um, okay. 26. So, um, the first performance was a hot guy cool. with a mime makeup on. Cool. He gets naked. Awesome. Hot he body. He's ripped, ripped hot. Fuck. He has a giant dick. Yikes. Giant. Yikes. And then he starts dipping his dick in paint. Cool. And <laughs> painting on a canvas. And this guy like had a vision of what he was going for. Oh my god, it was it mean? was beautiful. No. <laughs> <laughs> this was it was so funny and everyone was watching him dead serious. Like and it was I art. was literally laughing out loud. I literally was like this. This <laughs> cock guy over here. <laughs> Hey, Rachel. So my, someone went to liberal arts school, you know, saying no job painting with this dick. dick in a club in the West Village. In a club Village. in the West Village. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, but the vibe is there's like so many girls, but all, it isn't like hot, like queer, like girls making out. It All of the girls are like, hey, is this your first time? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and we're all like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, it wasn't hot at all. It was just a bunch of girlies being like, so where do you live? Do you think they're going to let us have sex or just kill us? <laughs> <laughs> do you think we'll get killed later tonight or we'll just be drinking champagne? You know, the guys are in the back like, they fell for it. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> Ah. Say la vie. Lock the doors. They want to lock the doors. <laughs> and give me my gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> House full of girls in cocktail dresses. Yeah. Okay. So hours are going by <laughs> and I'm not even like connecting with anyone. Yeah, I'm just, are these people vibey? I'm literally just talking to different girls about like what their major was in college. I'm, no. like, I'm doing crowd work with different girls and then, and then slowly people start like changing from their black tie into oh, only the girls into like, um, bikinis, like little lingerie looks. <gasps> and I was like, Oh, this is getting fun. Like regardless, this is giving a, like a gossip girl energy. Did, did you have someone who you connected with who was your anchor who was like you and me girl it's us it was together. obviously two girls that i met immediately who were like is it your first time it's like my first time and then i'm like you want to be my friend first of all everyone told me to go alone and everyone went with friends and i was just walking <laughs> around like uh, hello <laughs> <laughs> which which um is classic me yeah, in yeah, a yeah. lot of ways um it's always a social experiment drop me in the middle of the ocean and i'll, I'll make, be, a I'll make a girlfriend <laughs> i'll make a girlfriend so um like, like I was there for 10 minutes and immediately I'm in the bathroom with a bunch of girls and we're like, where'd you get that dress? <laughs> 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 so everyone starts getting naked and like, there's like, a, you know, there's like a, one ugly guy kind of like spanking girls on the ass. Uh, and then there's like one guy getting a blow job. And cool. then there would be like, there was like these two girls who kept, there was this girl, these two girls who were like uh, tying a sword to this other girl's back. And then untying it and then going into a different room and tying the sword Ooh. to this girl's back. <laughs> and I literally was like, what the hell is that? Like, was They're it fully sexual? clothed. 
fully clothed. They just like tied it with a I'm like, sexy ribbon around her back. Is this ceremonial? <laughs> what is that? What is that? That's such a red flag that a sacrifice is about to happen. I know. I'm, uh, and I was back. looking at it like, what is that? Like, no fear. Champagne. Champagne. I am drinking like the world is ending because I'm like, at least I need to like get drunk at yeah, this yeah. point. It's open bar. It's open bar. So at a certain point, I, I'm like connecting with it i start kind of flirting with this one girl but I, it was just like so lolable you know lolable L-O-L-able. and then everyone and i was like i guess i'll just like you know change oh did you have a look i just wore a little underwear a I, little night mode. okay it was actually kind of awesome to walk around a townhouse in the west village in, <laughs> <laughs> in um a thong and a lace bra and heels yeah. That is really cool. It was pretty cool. cool. And the men were in tuxes and all the girls were in lingerie and heels. This is starting to seem weird though. No, like, no, why are the like, guys naked? It was super weird. There's I mean, there's like one guy naked, See, but like it was just whatever. This is the thing with why I'm like sex parties with all gay guys. We are all like a bunch of stray dogs. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but that's what I wanted. And I don't think that could ever happen. I think the dynamic between men and women can't allow that because the women would get ripped apart. Like Dead. You know what I mean? Like the guys, we, we're all like ripping each other apart. We want to be ripped. Yeah. We want to be, we are, it's like, um, it's like wrestling. You yeah. Know yeah. I mean? But there wasn't like, people weren't going up to each other being like, do you want to kiss? I was at a certain point where I'm like, oh, hey. Anyone? Okay, <laughs> anyone? Because I have to work tomorrow. Like I have to leave soon. <laughs> like, does anyone want to kiss? Okay. So I, I like. Obviously, uh, some girl that I vibed with came up to me and was like, hey, my friend's talking to a guy. Can you, like, hang out with me? And I'm like, okay. And then uh, now I'm this girl's safety blanket, as always. Oh, fuck. And then I go up to this guy, uh, the girl and the guy that were talking. And it's like this, you know, young, good, like, not really good looking, but, like, guy. He's just a guy. Oh, guy. Literally a guy. Random and generated. they're talking about real estate. And I was like, honestly, I have, like, a bunch of questions about real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to we <laughs> no. Cut to me and this guy dead serious talking about real estate for three hours. Oh He's my. in a tux. I'm in lingerie. <laughs> There are, there's an, we're sitting down being like, so do you think it's better to uh, buy a co-op over a condo? And there are seven people having a heinous orgy right next to us. <laughs> was it, did an orgy break out? Like an a, orgy broke out. Broke out. It broke out. It broke, it went rampant. Oh an orgy God. broke So what does it mean? Like the three guys were fucking a hundred girls? Yeah. Like it was, it was just like a, but everyone was like, it was just like a gross kind of orgy. I this wasn't seems like guy centric. I literally was talking to him about um, interest rates and then I looked over and I was like, oh, just a, oh my god, nah. nah. And then obviously this guy loved me, but he has a wife and he couldn't. At, at a certain point, we were talking about interest rates for so long. I was like, do you want to make out? I literally said that, and he's like, I can't. Usually my wife is here. We founded this, so obviously I end up talking to the <laughs> founder. I, of course, me in my life, I don't hook up with anyone. But now I'm talking to the founder talking to the biz. about yeah. how he wants to intro me to his wife. And then everyone leaves, but the founder's like, stay, we have an after party. Oh and my I God. stayed and I met everyone who founded it. They all told me their trauma on how they started this sex party. They all DM'd me on Instagram. I did not get laid, but I think I'm in a secret society. <laughs> 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 and stay I, late at the sex party stay guys late. stay late i left just being like what the fuck what the hell was that <laughs> what the hell was did that? you kiss anyone no no <laughs> oh no I, I i made out with this guy in the oh oh i forgot about this and I, I was like do you want to make out and he's like no i can't you know my wife's not here and then he was like i would be I like have to are you pee. fucking kidding i was me? like i have to go pee and he's like i'll come and then he came in the bathroom i peed in front of this guy hell yeah and then we made out like a little bit i think he just couldn't in the open air um for legitimately two seconds and then went back into the, the sex party and then i stayed there till 5 a.m i would be so chatting with the owners oh my god I would be so rock like horny. I'd be like, <laughs> I was like, if someone doesn't choke me out right now, I'm gonna. I use. I literally went home and like used my vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. But literally, fuck. I didn't even get to make. That's like, like hilarious. Like you going and then like, this laundry and then sort of like just getting. Like, I, I literally networked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally a networking event. They all DM'd me being like, I can't wait to chat with you in the next one. Hope you had an amazing time. Like, what do you think? <laughs> I'm like, people literally were getting their shit rocked. And I know well, girls one, like getting like, fuck, 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 fuck. People like, were getting like, uh, like gnarly. But it's like, it's not hot when it's not hot people. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're, even the, I'm like, I would like go. F- like Were the lights on? 
then kind of they were like dim it was actually all red lighting it was a really cool setting that was really cool, it was cool I, I, my, my, moments. if they need any notes guys <laughs> if they need notes lower the lights <laughs> lower, lower the lights the freaks come out when you lower the lights <laughs> 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 it was honestly it's, it's so me it is so me to walk into a sex party leave completely untouched but with investments yeah wow that's so me um, i i laughed all the way home i wish you got blorked i didn't even get bjorked <laughs> <laughs> i like there wasn't even a chance like i was looking at girls i'm like do you want like the girls were it wasn't even like gay in a fun way you know what uh, i mean like it sounds like it just doesn't sound like the right kind of thing it sounds like this is like rich men who get like all these women and is like uh and then it just seems like an orgy for them like these founders just are like guys it was an orgy for like the guys yeah and then even like there was a really hot one and then obviously i got intro to him as some burning man or whatever oh and god I, oh my god it was god. that it was that and uh an, an older burning man but guy. he was like really hot and then i talked to him for two seconds and so I was like, you're gross. Like, there was no... I didn't even want anyone to slorsh my gorsh. Oh, my God. I know. And I left there being like, I'm going to be so hungover and tired tomorrow. <laughs> and no one even, like, touched my ass. I mean, this guy called me smoking hot a lot. And that was awesome. It was awesome to be sitting next to a guy fully clothed. And I'm in lingerie. And he's giving me business advice. Like, I liked that. I... This just inspired me because I just saw you in my mind sitting in, um, I don't know, I keep saying bikini, but lingerie. In to lingerie. me, they're the same thing. And then I had his blazer on, so I was like, bra, like little panties, bra, his big blazer, and my heels. And my I had 17 pounds of hair. Extent. Like, I looked amazing. Oh, oh my God. I looked amazing. amazing. Oh, hair extensions in this goddamn earth. I just imagine like for our shoot, like if we do the podcast again, yeah. imagine this. Everybody, okay? Are you here? Picture it. Think dark, smoky office chairs. Like, you know what I mean? There's, It's like a smoky lounge. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. You and me sitting in chairs. Smoking you cigars. You are in lingerie bra. One of those panty things. <laughs> You know, those panty things. And you have those little, like, clear high heels that have the pink puff on it. Fuck yeah. Okay? Yes. And you have a blazer. Yeah. You know, a blazer. A blazer. Um, And I'm sitting in the other seat. You know those, like, things that guys wear, like, the dress shoes with, like, those garters? Yes. I'm in that underwear, and I have a bra on my head. On your head? Oh, my God. I love that. Because you have the, the blazer, and I have your bra, but you're covered with the blazer. Right. That's a that's such a good look. That we is we so I like I should work. We need an art director. We need an I art mean director. we are art directors but we need a um, budget. We need someone to do it. Um so We like literally have to wrap up. Wait, okay, there's one last thing. Guys, okay, keep going. I just guys, have to check this thing. There's a lot more shit that is going to come your way, okay? The stories are <laughs> the stories are palpable. So you guys may not know this, but I had a massive piece of wood in my ass. Mhm. Mm okay? I got a splinter and I just got it and I just got it removed. And I wanted live on the podcast for Gabby to see them. Oh my god! So I have, have them, them in my oh pocket. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! So, I, why? Why are you doing this when I'm already nauseous? Why is it like foggy in that container? Was, it was, they were wet because they were in my leg for for two months. Uh, I was carrying around honestly. I like, thought there was one more. There is. There's a third one in there. Oh my god! Remember when Zach had that like big. Um, welt on his ass that we've briefly gone over um, and he was like I think I have a little splinter in there he has had three large pieces of driftwood removed from his ass literally it's like guys you don't understand I'm not gonna post it because I know everyone's squeamish in this world uh, except you know I'm squeamish and you sent me it 40 times non-stop describing it well you're my sun and my moon like I I'm know. not gonna <laughs> not show you okay like you have to look uh, yeah. no no I know you I must know, know oh, no, I, no, I know what I know. They were. I know. Uh, but I just think it's amazing. And that just brings me on to the point of how amazing life is. That my the human body. could literally hold it like a pocket yeah. for two months straight. I've been running, working out, dating, hooking up. Uh, I've been literally, dating. I've been literally dating. I've been like dating. In like Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing something like a hip roll there. Okay. So um, ready to wrap. <laughs> I'm ready to wrap. First off, guys. My name is Gabby and I'm here to say. <laughs> okay, first off, first things first. Yeah. Guys, this is the end of the podcast. <laughs> Lastly. This podcast today was inspiring because we persisted it and we did it. It really reminds you that no matter where you, it, no matter if you're even in medical duress, you can figure out how to be fun with your friend. 
As long as your best friend is by you, okay. you can own the world. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I almost truly puked when you said uh, me that. Me too. So I'm going to just give you some wings. All Go right? ahead, please. Gabby, yep. you were probably the hottest young little ticket at that goddamn West West village, village. Townhouse. townhouse. You were probably the sexiest thing that's ever walked in there. I love you. I love you. I think that I was actually just talking to someone yesterday, and they brought up how our podcast, they love watching the clips because they love our energy together. <laughs> I mean, our energy together is perfect. I love you. And, and that I, is known. I fantasize about kind of breaking it to my future husband that you're going to know definitely keep being a huge part of my life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, Roger. No, Roger. I, like, she's coming. To our vacation. <laughs> like, she's coming on our vacation. Because she's coming on our honeymoon. Well, we're at well, least meeting up with her in Madrid. on the pod. On the pod. And she's, she's also going to be in Madrid at the same time. You're just going to hang out with her the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to... That's me. I, every ex-boyfriend I've <laughs> ever had. That That's a true retelling of every ex-boyfriend I've ever had. Um, I, I love you. I love you. May I? I would love it. Um, Your body, just don't quit. You're, you're on a style evolution that is so... It's like... Like I've been lost in the desert and someone gave me a Perrier, bitch. And I'm so <laughs> coming up for air. I'm so excited for you. You wearing new shoes. I don't think I've ever seen you in new shoes. I know, right? I, you I've, never do I've that. I've been doing, guys, because the other day I was laying in my bed, minding my own business, trying <laughs> yeah. to go to sleep, okay? <laughs> and uh, like my ancestors, something came something too. larger than me okay, yeah. came through me. Not even, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I realized that I'm almost 30. I can't wear graphic tees. <laughs> <laughs> It's, Having that realization. I was like, oh I, my I God, I have to throw them away. I got to <laughs> throw them away. That's crazy. Literally, what do you, all you wear is graphic tees. I, I'm not wearing the Carhartt pants anymore because everyone does that. And I'm done doing what other people do. First off, <laughs> everyone take take notes on that. And so instead you're wearing yeah. jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Which no one did. No, I, uh, I'm i just doing my own thing. So I, I'm actually in the process right now. Above us right now is my bedroom. All the clothes. I'm throwing away everything. I don't. Well, well, not like the good clothes that I will be wearing. Yeah. But no more graphic tees. I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'm shocked. Yeah. This one, I have like a, like three that I'll keep wearing as my casual day shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darling, don't you need some day shirts? But I see, you know, I, I think I watched a documentary and by a documentary, I mean a YouTube video and the YouTube video was on Twitter. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was like, I was a little it's clip. Learning. It was a clip. <laughs> and it was about how, um, you know. There's there's these these tropes in society, okay? Suits, businessmen, they're elite. That you know, that's just what we see. Don't reinvent the wheel. Baby. <laughs> you just got to use the tools. Totally. Not saying I'm gonna wear a blazer, but I need to age up my wardrobe. If so. you just if you go with a classic, ain't nobody gonna second guess you. I love you. I love you. I love us. I love us too. <laughs> and girls, everyone out there, you really got to keep being yourself because that's what we love about you. Is when you're just like. Just chilling with no makeup on, like no, yeah. <laughs> like doing your own thing. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's so true. That's when you're your prettiest. I, I hope you don't take that wrong. That's that's a, that's, <laughs> is that a Bruno Mars song? Really, I think it's Drake. Oh, that's, that's when you're the prettiest. prettiest. <laughs> and don't take we can't end on a rap. We can't. <laughs> Wait, did you see that video of Drake saying that he was in love? He was like, I have been in love with Rihanna since I was 22 years old. And she's standing right next to him. And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> and dabs. So funny. That's how I feel towards you. I've been in love with you since I was 22 years old. I And think. even though we met before that, but it took me a while. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, I mean, I get it. I'm like, I get it. Yeah. When, I, when, you, when you're all that and a bag of chips, everyone wants a slice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, we love you so much. Don't forget to join our Patreon. We're going over to the Patreon right now to to add people to the girl universe. You if you're not on our Patreon, you're truly being stupid and annoying because our Patreon is so funny. Like if you're I think you're like a not you're like a negative person. If you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you're like a real Debbie Downer if, if you're, you're not on our Patreon. If you're not sort of hopping over to the fi the firewall of into our, if God. it doesn't feel worth it, I understand. But like, what, yo, like I would even rather watch our Patreon videos than the actual podcast because our Patreon universe that we're building is so so funny. It's so funny, guys. You know the women in Hollywood. You, you know, know them. you know them. 
you want to see them squirm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are torturing the women of Hollywood. But also raising them up. And also raising them up. So it's neutral karmatically. We're creating, like, if Game of Thrones was actually all girls in in the zeitgeist, we all know. In modern, in, in American that's pop what we're culture. Doing. Yeah. Yes. In global pop culture, even. That's very true. That's what we're about. Why am I getting stuffy? Like, I what's know, that I, story? I just got sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I just got sick. Um, we love you so much. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on YouTube. Follow we have a lot YouTube. of YouTube. YouTube, guys. I we love have you. a lot of YouTube. But we, we got it. So see you over there. Bye. Bye.